in this session we will discuss about a problem in rl circuit section with sinusoidal input first write down the question for the circuit shown in figure determine the transient current when the switch is moved from the position 1 to the position 2 at t equal to 0 the circuit is in steady state with the switch in position 1 the voltage applied to the circuit is v equal to 150 cos 200 t plus 30 degree volt so the circuit diagram is given you can see that there are two switch positions 1 and 2 it indicates that first the switch is connected to the position 1 that means the switch is closed at this point that is its indication it is shown that the switch will go to the position 2 and what is the time at the time t equal to it is given in the question that at time t equal to 0 the switch is moved from position 1 to the position 2 that means it indi indicates that switch s will go to the position 2 at a time t equal to 0 when switch go to the position 2 that means this there is no connection with the point 1 that means this part will be open circuit that means there is only one position that the circuit contains only these terms that means resistor inductor and this circuit see when the switch is in at the initial the switch will be connected to this point one that means there is no connection with this two so the circuit at before time t equal to zero that means before time t equal to zero switch is connected to one that means the circuit will be like this so you know that uh, that if the time is before t equal to zero that indicates initial condition that t equal to 0 minus indicates the initial condition but when t equal to 0 the switch will be moving to this position so the circuit will be like this so that point you should remember so you should know how will the current flows when the switch moves from one position to other position so you can see that there will be some current flow through this circuit before the time t equal to 0 because there is a continuous path or a closed loop through this switch position 1 before time t equal to 0 so there will be some current flow through this resistor and inductor before time t equal to 0 so let us start doing the problem you are asked to find out the transient current when the switch is moved from the position 1 to the position 2 that means when it is going to move from 1 to 2 what will be the transient current the transient current means the current due to the sudden changes so you should find out that current see now you have this closed loop that means it contains the voltage source and the resistor and the inductor so for that loop you can write the voltage equation so you can write the voltage equation at this position also similar uh, when t equal to 0 switch will move to this position too in such case the circuit will be like this there will be no source right so when the switch is at position 2 at a time t equal to 0 you can apply Kirchhoff's voltage law so that it will become you know that this is the loop when switch is at position 2 so you can write the Kirchhoff's voltage law as 200 into i plus 0.5 into d i by dt equal to 0 right let i be the current flowing through this circuit when the switch is at position 2 then you can write the Kirchhoff's voltage law as algebraic sum of the voltage drop will be equal to 0 right because there is no source connected to this position that is why we are putting it as 0 that is you can write 200 i plus 0.5 di by dt equal to 0 you know that this is a differential equation and when you are writing di by dt alone that means when you are dividing the entire equation with the 0.5 you will get instead of 200 i you will get 400 i plus di by dt will be equal to 0 so instead of d by dt you can write a capital d that is a non formula that is d plus 400 into i will be equal to 0 
so you can write the transient current equation you are asked to find out the transient current so transient current will be equal to in this type of equation transient current will be equal to i will be equal to c into e raised to minus 400 t this is the transient current actually this is the complementary function so transient current will be equal to the complementary function that is c into e raised to minus r by l into t where r is 200 and l is 0.5 so it will be c into e raised to minus 400 t that you that you, we know uh, from the previous analysis of rl circuit and next when the switch moved to position when the switch was initially at the position 1 and we can write the equation see at a time t equal to 0 switch is moved from position 1 to position 2 hence the current passing through the circuit is same as the steady state current passing through the circuit when the switch is in position 1 when the switch is in position 1 the current passing through the circuit is see here initially the switch is at position 1 you know that and when the switch is at position 1 you know that this will form a closed loop right that means in that circuit there will be a source right when there is a voltage source this is a voltage source it is given that 150 cos 200 t plus 30 volt so this is a voltage source and there are different components so the current flowing through this circuit will be equal to i equal to total voltage divided by impedance see this is resistance and inductance so the total resistance we can say it as impedance that is 200 plus what is if a circuit contains a resistor r and inductance l but is impedance r plus j l omega is the impedance right so you can write the impedance as 200 plus j into omega 200 plus j into omega into 0.5 here omega is you know that this is in the form of cos omega t plus 30 degrees so omega is 200 from this voltage value so you can simply write the current will be equal to total voltage is this one total voltage divided by total impedance so you can write the current as i equal to v by z that is v is 150 see v is what is the value of v v is so maximum value is 150 magnitude is 150 and this angle is 30 degree so you can write it in the polar form as 150 angle 30 degree so you can write it as i equal to 150 angle 30 degree divided by r plus j omega l is the impedance where r is 200 and l is 0.5 you can substitute and omega is 100 so you will get 150 angle 30 degree divided by 200 plus j into 200 plus 200 into 0.5 so you will get you can convert this rectangular form into polar form like this 223.6 angle 26.56 degree you can make the conversion using calculator or by using different formulas such as tan inverse magnitude will be obtained by taking square root 200 square plus 200, 200 into 0.5 square similarly angle will be obtained by the equation tan inverse this term divided by 200 suppose a plus ib is the a plus jb is a form then its magnitude is square root a square plus b square similarly its angle will be tan inverse b by a similar so you can write it um, as in the polar form 223.6 angle 26.56 degree you can use calculator it will be easier it will save the time so you will get the current equation as 0 0.67 angle 3.44 degree see this is the case when switch is connected to the position 1 the current flowing through this closed path is given by this equation that is 0 0.67 angle 3.44 you can write it as see you can write it in the form of uh, this is in the polar form you can write it as i will be equal to 0.67 that is magnitude into cos omega t plus theta see, see this is 3.44 is the phase angle so you can write it in the current equation in the sinusoidal form as 0 0.67 cos 200t plus 3.44 degree so this is the polar form and this is the original form that is uh, see when the switch is connected to one you know that there will be a current flow you, we can say that it is a steady state current because before the time t equal to zero a current will flowing through the circuit um, and uh, this current will attain a constant value that that is why we are saying that it is a steady state value and that steady state current value is this one that is 0 0.67 into cos 200 t plus 3.44 degree so this is the steady state current value when the switch is in position 1 and we now we have the 
transient value of the current as c into e raised to minus 400 t you know that in this case we have to find out the value of c for finding the value of c we are taking the for finding the value of c we are taking the initial condition you know that initial condition how can we get the initial condition that means when t equal to 0 we know that when t equal to 0 initial condition is obtained by substituting the value of t equal to 0 so when t equal to 0 what will be the value of current you know that when t equal to 0 switch will be connected to position 2 and the this is the closed circuit we will assume that there will not be any current because there is no any source but we know that when the switch changes its position to 2 inductor cannot flow the can, can, inductor cannot show the sudden changes in the input see inductor has a property it will not show the sudden changes in the voltage or current so we will assume that there will not be any current through the inductor but actually there will be a current flow through the inductor because before the time t equal to 0 actually the inductor was a part of this circuit right that means there will be a current flow through this circuit before the time t equal to 0 due to the position of switch at the at 1 so when suddenly switch changes to this position 2 inductor cannot follow that change that means inductor current will not become 0 it will take some time to become 0 so at a particular instant t equal to 0 we can say that there will be a current through the inductor due to the previous position of the switch so the current through the inductor is this quantity 0 0.67 into cos 200 t plus 3.44 degree so we can substitute that initial condition in the transient current so in order to get the value of c we have to substitute t equal to 0 at that particular time current there will be some current value so this can this will become c into e raised to minus 0 become c itself so we can write instead of i we can write i is this current so i will be equal to c into e raised to minus 400 into t therefore at t equal to 0 we will get the value of c as 0.66 here t equal to 0 so c value will be equal to 0.67 into cos 3.44 degree that is equal to 0.66 so therefore we can write the transient current equation as i equal to c into e raised to minus 400 t that is instead of c we can write 0.66 into e raised to minus 400 t so that's all about this problem